वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रशांत पाटिल जैन कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बेलगा प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन सो दैट यू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन टू सॉल्व द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन यूजिंग द लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म्स this video i am solving the differential equation that is initial value problem initial conditions they are given using the laplace transforms the differential equations with initial conditions are known as initial value problems those i am going to solve using laplace transforms here here the given equation is differential equation is y double dash plus 4 y dash Plus three y equal to e to the power minus d. This one we can solve using our man analytical method also. Okay, by substituting derivative y capital D and then auxiliary equation and then uh, conform uh, sorry CF and then PI and all those things. In spite of that, using Laplace transform, how to solve? We are going to discuss here. Now applying Laplace transform on both sides. Applying Laplace transform on both sides, and here one more thing we have to remember is uh, we have to observe here is y and the right hand side is a function of t. Therefore, it is a y is a function of t here. Now Laplace transform of y double dash plus four times Laplace transform of y dash plus three into Laplace transform of y is equal to Laplace transform of e to the power minus t. Now we know that Laplace transform of y double dash is given by s square into Laplace transform of y minus s into y of zero minus y dash of zero is the Laplace transform of y dash y double dash like that y dash four times. Laplace transform of sorry s into Laplace transform of y minus y of zero. Okay, next plus three times Laplace transform of y as it is, which is equal to Laplace transform of e to the power minus t is nothing but one divided by s my s plus one. Now substitute the initial conditions. That is y of zero equal to one. Y dash of zero also equal to one. Now I am going to get it as, and I, I will simplify this one as, and these terms I will take common. That is, yes square plus four yes plus three into Laplace transform of y. In the remaining terms, I will substitute the my Y of zero, y not of zero equal to one, and y dash of zero equal to one. That is minus yes, okay, and this is minus one. Next, this is y of zero is one, but four minus of us four. Okay, okay. Next, this is left hand side, and right hand side is one divided by yes plus one. Now I have to simplify this. Whether the linear factors of this are available or not, let us me check. Okay, the factors of these terms are nothing but s plus one into s plus three. If not possible to find out here by the side, you can find out and then you can substitute here, which is equal to this is minus s minus phi. This will become s plus phi equal to one divided by sorry. In divided by s plus one. Simplify this and bring it to the left hand side. What I can write this one is Laplace transform of y is equal to Laplace transform of y is next LCM is nothing but s plus one and this will become s plus phi into s plus one plus one. And these two I am bringing to the other side. That will become again s plus one into s plus three. 
simplifying this one I am going to get a numerator as s square plus s plus 5s plus 5 plus 1 whole divided by s plus 3 into s plus 1 the whole square or I can write it as Laplace transform of y is equal to s square plus 6s plus 6 whole divided by s plus 1 the whole square into s plus 3. This is a Laplace transform of y. But I want to find out inverse Laplace, sorry, uh, y here, function of t. Therefore, applying inverse Laplace transform on both side, applying inverse Laplace transform on both side, I am going to get it as a y. y is equal to inverse Laplace transform of s square plus 6s plus 6 divided, divided by s plus 1 the whole square into s plus 3. Now if I am able to find out inverse Laplace, 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 Laplace transform, we will solve it by partial fraction method. Therefore consider s square plus 6s plus 6 whole divided by s plus 1 the whole square into s plus 3 partial fractions of this first term is quadratic but repeated roots that's why i can write it as a divided by s plus 1 plus b divided by s plus 1 the whole square plus b divided by sector sorry c divided by c, uh, single root uh, linear also s plus 3 then multiplying by multiplying by uh, what I can say multiplying by s plus 1 the square into s plus 3 I am going to get it as a s square plus 6s plus 6 equal to 1 of the s plus 1 s plus 1 cancels a into s plus 1 and s plus 3 will remain plus b into s plus 3 only plus c into s plus 3 s plus 3 cancels s plus 1 the square using this equation i have to find the values of a b and c now uh, i can make put s is equal to minus 3 put s is equal to minus 3 which implies a minus 3 square will become plus 9 minus 3 into plus 6 minus 18 plus 6 equal to a into s equal to 0 therefore first term becomes 0 second term also becomes 0 third term plus c into s equal to minus 3 minus 3 plus 2 minus 2 square minus 2 square is 4 which implies c is equal to my c is value that is uh, 5 9 plus 6 uh, 15 15 minus 18 minus 3 minus 3 divided by 4 like that let me use s is equal to minus 1 put s is equal to minus 1 then i am getting for s equal to minus 1 minus 1 square is 1 minus 6 plus 6 equal to first term again becomes 0 whereas b into minus 1 plus 3 will become 2 plus 0 which implies b is equal to 6 is cancels 1 by 2 my b value is 1 by 2 then i have to find the value of a to find the value of a both it is containing my s minus plus 1 and s plus 3 other than s equal to minus 3 and minus 1 i have to use and use the b and c values to find out them okay let me put s is equal to 0 simple one at s is equal to 0 0 plus 0 plus 6 is equal to a into 0 means 1 1 into 3 
plus b b is already 1 by 2 i calculated s is 0 it is 3 plus c c value is minus 3 by 4 into s value s is 0 1 1 square is 1 again okay let me simplify this 6 equal to 3a okay and here i can take lcm as a plus 4 4 as lcm and here 2 is there therefore 2 into 2 again 6 6 minus 3 which implies 6 6 minus 3 will become 3 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 equal to 3a which implies a is equal to lcm is 4 again here so 24 24 minus 3 21 21 divided by 21 divided by 4 into 3 3 ones are 3 7 are therefore a is equal to 7 by 3 i am going to get here okay plus 7 by 4 using them i have to find out inverse laplace transform therefore s square plus 6s plus 6 divided by s plus 1 square into s plus 3 i can write it as a, a divided by a is a 7 by 4 divided by s plus 1 plus b b is 1 by 2 divided by s plus 1 square plus c c is a minus 3 by 4 whole divided by s plus 3 okay therefore using this y equal to inverse laplace transform of this s square plus 6s plus 6 divided by s plus 1 square into s plus 3 we know and this one i can write it as now that is 7 by 4 and this one uh, else i will take common 7 by 4 inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s plus 1 plus 1 by 2 inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s plus 1 square minus 3 by 4 inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s plus 3 okay let me write the final answer my y is equal to 7 by 4 into e to the power minus t okay if it is plus is there minus will come here but here s plus 1 the whole square is there i have to apply the shifting property for that that is nothing but 1 by 2 into e to the power minus t inverse laplace transform of 1 by s square okay i have to change s plus 1 is replaced by s okay minus 3 by 4 3 by 4 into e to the power minus 3t okay and from these two i can take e to the power minus t or you can write as it is i will write the final answer as e to the power minus t into 7 by 4 plus 1 by 2 and 1 by s square inverse laplace transform is t t divided by 2 minus 3 by 4 e to the power minus 3 t is the required answer okay here using initial conditions we are using in the beginning only okay now that's why direct answers i'm going to get okay like this in my next video i'm going to solve another example on to solve the differential equations using laplace transforms please subscribe my channel give the comments and also if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you'll get my next notifications thank you friends